Absolutely. Okay. How you been? Okay. Pretty good. You look good, all snappy and dressed up. Well, I've been meeting Pretty you well. well. <laughs> right. Very nice. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, good to see you. Coming right. in. Coming in. Thank Come you. On in. Well, they all refuse to die. They always come back. Come Remember back. the line, I'll be back, I'll right? Be back. Exactly. The UN Industrial Development Director General met with actor and former governor of the U.S. state of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, in Los Angeles. They are energy allies. We have an action plan, what to do in the next 20 years. That's the good part. Right, right. The challenge now is to convert those commitments to real action. The reason I'm visiting Arnold in California, he tried to push energy savings in California without affecting people's lifestyles significantly. He also pushed for alternative energy sources. What is the message? Whether in California, in Singapore, or in uh, London, you can change how you use and generate energy without really significantly sa sacrificing your quality of life. That will help save the planet. But at the same time, I advocate that let's have poor people get energy, 1.3 billion of them who have no electricity at all. Back at home in Sierra Leone, Dr. Yim Kella is a big celebrity himself. That's my brother. That's my uncle. And that's my chief. Also my uncle. Electrifying his village in more ways than one. He brings rechargeable lamps, solar panels, and equipment to power hundreds of houses. Another of UNIDO's projects, a hydropower dam. Now along the Bencasoka River, daily life has changed. You're looking at little feel-good projects. I always say to people, we Africans don't want to be basket weavers forever. That's not what my child is looking for. She's in a wonderful university somewhere. She wants to come back to Africa and have a good job. Africans themselves need to think differently today. They must believe that they can transform. Look at what globalization did in the last 20 years. Lifting two, three hundred million people out of poverty in India and China alone. If poor countries, particularly in Africa, depend only on commodities, they will remain poor. That is my message, that is my advocacy in the world. And to do that, you need infrastructure, you need energy, good governance, education, market opportunities and global partnerships.